The videographer is not here this evening. He got um, delayed in the deposition, so we will not be videoed. But um, we will go ahead and begin the meeting. Um, we have the prayer and the pledge led by Councilman Robert Swear. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Pledge to the flag, and on the face of the and to the republic for which you stand, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Councilmember Natalie Roban. Present. Councilmember Peggy Girac. Here. Councilmember Robert Swear. Here. Uh, Mayor Pro Tim <laughs> Dan Doyle. Here. <laughs> Councilmember David Merrill, who said he would be out of town tonight. Councilmember Raymond Lewis. And Councilmember Calvin Bagnum. Here. The speaker. The speaker. Oh, Well, first of all, I guess you can please silence your cell phones if you have one. And the first agenda item is public comment, but no parts have been completed, so we're going to move on to accept. Oh, before we go further, I want to ask the council to strike agenda item three. It was the refunding of the bonds. I uh, spoke with our bonding attorneys today due to the uncertainty of the market right now. We're going to postpone it. Um, interest rates are supposed to be going up and this is only effective if you can get a lower interest rate than you currently have so we're going to just postpone it and let the next administration take a look at it um, after January because we're so uncertain about the market right now the next agenda item agenda item 2 is acceptance of the minutes of the November 1st 2016 meeting as published on Thursday November the 10th uh, 2016. So moved. Motion by Mr. Swear, second by Ms. Doyle. Is, Mr. Doyle, is there any discussion? Any objection? No objection, motion carried. <coughs> we, then we did strike agenda item three. Letters from planning and zoning. Madam Clerk, a resolution. A resolution to approve a request for a special use conditional use permit at 1349 Julia Street by Keith and Sharon Abair to erect a small building for residential purposes without stove, washer, or dryer in the backyard to house a caretaker of the elderly residents. So moved there. Motion second. by Mr. Swear, second by Mr. Rapp. Is there any discussion? <coughs> any objection? No objection, motion carries. The next agenda item, resolution, Madam Clerk. A resolution to approve a request to rezone three vacant lots belonging to Lewis <coughs> Gio and siblings located at East Dale Street from an R2 to a C3. Lot 1 measuring 44 <coughs> by 100, 140. Wayne F. Gio and Margaret G. Dennison, owner. <coughs> Lot 2 measuring 44 by 140. Frank and Leona Gio, Gio Properties, LLC. Margaret G. Dennison, managing member. Uh, lot 3 measuring 100 by 95. Frank and Leona Giot Properties, LLC, <coughs> Margaret C. Dennison, Managing Member. Motion. motion by Mr. Swear. No, second. Second by Ms. Girac. Uh, Is there any discussion? Did they say what they wanted to put on there? I know you had talked one time about putting some uh, apartments on there. I think their intent uh, is that they're um, negotiating with a commercial retail, small retail business to locate there. <coughs> Anyone else? Do you know what they're going to do with the building? Um, I think the intent was, you know, to try to get a, a small commercial business there to accommodate the surrounding neighborhood. They've talked to some of the neighbors, and it seems like that, you know, that a small business you would. Have much parking, you know, you know, <coughs> 44 by 140, you know, you got your three lots. 
give you about 100, 200 feet, about 100 again. Yeah, that what? I guess it well, it depends on what the business is. What is business. That determines the number of parking spaces. And then, if it's a business that doesn't require a lot of parking, they could come back and ask for a variance depending on what that <coughs> service is. Mm -hmm. what, what are the other businesses around there? Are there other businesses around there? I'm assuming. There, Mr. Roberts' store. Across the street? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right by you. Yeah, okay. That's that's right. residential on that side, there's nothing, yeah. <coughs> there's yeah. nothing on that side. Now you're opening the door for commercial now. Because you can put commercial there now. You're going to start putting commercial into residential areas now. Mm -hmm. and that's what zoning was put in to stop. Is because zoning, the uh, commercial stop right in my property line. We shoot, <coughs> the other side of we street is residential. So now you're going into the residential area. It's continuously with the existing zoning. Is it supported? Yes. It was a recommendation by planning and zoning. Yes. <laughs> I never got a call from them. The sign is posted. You got a letter. I and never, you and I spoke about I it. I never got a call from nobody opposing it. You know, that, uh, nobody oh, opposed I, see it. I don't care for it because it's moving in. Uh, I don't believe you realize what's <laughs> happening. It's moving into it, you know, and, and that, you know, so, uh, it's going to, uh, they can put uh, any kind of business they want now inside there. Mr. You know, that's yeah. your... Well, that's what we are saying about hot fish, you don't know. Yeah, letters went out to all Mr. the Jason Lewis? property owners. Yes, uh, sir. I, I just have one comment uh, on on that signage. <coughs> that it was done. I, I remember when we did Squirrel Run. Uh, uh, when Paris Segura wanted to develop Squirrel Run uh, on, on Curtis Lane. The sign, I, I looked at the sign, and then I did receive something in writing on it. But the way the sign was positioned. One way? Oh, it, it's, 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 it's facing the house. And my argument was then, when you're gonna post something, you should have been able to see that east and west at least. <clears throat> Not uh, facing the north, because when you're taught to drive, you're taught to look in front of you. When you come to a stop sign or red light, you look left or right like that. But the way the sign was positioned, uh, I just looked kind of all over quick, yeah. safely. But again, the same thing happened at Squirrel Run, and then uh, uh, we were about to approve something, uh, zone and say approve, and then we got calls before, I got uh, 93 calls, I remember the number specifically. <coughs> then people were cutting up about what was about to happen on yeah. Curtis Lane. And then I had committed to billing the reserves I'm talking about now. Mm -hmm. Cause I ended up having to tell Mr. Segura and Mr. <coughs> Brown right in this chamber, I had committed, gave my word I would do it and vote for it, but then I see all these people, there's people that I 93 calls been in one. But I, I, my, my focus is just the way the sign was positioned. It brought me back to that time and that place uh, years ago. Uh, so I don't know. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll withdraw my motion because, you know, she was right. It was only on Dave Street side, you know. People could see it on the Week Street side. And then really, if you're not looking at it when you pass down Dave Street, you're not going to see it, you know. Uh, especially going into commercial. You know, but if they put residential, like make a multi-purpose apartment or something, be different. But they want to go commercial. You're going into a residential area now. You know, so you're breaking away from uh, commercial, going into residential. Did they get some mission? They're withdrawing their motion. Well, they're withdrawing their nomination. Yeah. The, the first and the second. The first and the second. So you uh, have to see if there's is anybody, anybody else. else that wants to make a motion so that we can vote on it. Can, can we finish can discussion? We, since they well, we the should motion? have a motion on the floor yeah, the people to discuss it. it. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. We should have a motion on the floor. Yeah. We could have kept the motion on the floor. So, Y'all want to make a motion just to, for discussion? To do yeah. it properly? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, Ms. Uh, Roban, do you want to make the motion? I'll make the motion to keep the original motion on the floor just for the purpose of keep the motion on the floor. The yeah. motion on the floor, yeah. we need a second. The house. Did I do it right? A second by Mr. Dawes for discussion. And then yeah. you can vote yeah. against it if Mr. you're opposed to it. Who's doing a second? 
Jag har sett det idag. Jag har sett det idag. Okej. Jag har sett det idag. 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 Ms. Bro, um, how far are they as far as like development, the development process? Like if we push this back, how long will it take to put the sign back the other way? Okay, as I understand it, the sign was posted, the property's front Dale Street. So, oh, so there are come. three lots that front Dale Street. I know Only one is at the corner of Weeks and Dale. Mm -hmm. So the sign is facing Dale Street because that's where the general flow of traffic is. The, um, <coughs> we sent letters out to all of the adjacent <coughs> property owners, including Mr. Spear. He and I talked about this a couple of weeks ago, and he was in support of it then. So I'm not I thought he was quite sure. Apartment, though. I thought it was a multi. No, sir. We he talked had, about. He had talked to me one, one day about building some apartment there. Frank had talked. Well, to you me and I it. talked so, about the commercial development, but, you but never I'm not going to. with the commercial building. You. I'm not going to debate. You told me you didn't know what it was. Ms. No, I said that they they were talking to a small retail no development. Man. No man. You like, never told me that man. Okay. No. Man. Um, I don't know. The so, next part of my question would be. Um, Mr. Smear brought up the whole the parking issue, mm -hmm. and I know, you know, I've read the ordinances about, you know, if it's like a service, like a nail salon, you don't need that much. If it's a food, you need a lot more. Right. In their plan, is there a parking lot even mapped well, out yet? Because well, I, no, that's not because, a good area for Orange Street parking. No, and because there there actually is no plan, you know, they're asking for for C three because. The C3 district is contiguous with this property. It ends in the middle of, of Week Street, and everything from the center of Week Street to Center Street all along that corridor is C3. So it is contiguous with C3. They may not need a C3 to develop commercially, depending on what type of business they can attract at that location. They may only need a C1 or a C2, you know, but C3 is contiguous. <coughs> So they're asking for C3 so as not to spot zone that property. Does that, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's what usually happens. You just extend the existing and district. And they're going to develop it themselves? Yes, yeah. Well, they're, they're looking for a small business to occupy there, you know, and then at that time, I think that they would sell the lots you know, to, to a business owner. They want to put the lots up for sales commercially. They want to bring up the value of the property. That's what they want to do. And the expense of the neighborhood. Um, well, no one appeared in opposition, and we sent letters out. And um, his family actually owns a lot of the property surrounding these three lots. The, the fourth lot on the other side, the lot across the street, mm -hmm. um, is family owned. I'm just wondering what would go there. I'm but you know what, 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 what aggravate me is they, they want to build, but they're afraid to say what they're going to build. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just not going to happen because we had a problem with that. Why they can't say what they're going to put there? They might put a bar, okay? Never know. You know, sometimes they don't know. Sometimes they just want to market the, pro the property, you know, at the highest and best use, which is commercial. So it's a commercial residential spot? No. I'm sorry. It's commercial residential spot? It's zone residential right now. Right next door, right across the street is commercial, is C3, where Mr. Roberts' store was. And I don't think they're going to get much more. You get commercial. I, well, you yeah, but that area is, is, is. You can get more money. It's not a commercial. It's just a higher area. You, you know, I, in the past, I had people always come after we vote for the issue. Not always, a few times. But we didn't know this was happening. Mm -hmm. And the signage to us is not a big deal, but to a neighborhood, I think mm -hmm. it is. And we even changed the signage at one time for whatever color to blue now, I think. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And a little larger. Yeah. I think we need to address even that. Something so simple. People do pass, as they mentioned. I, you know, I pass pretty often down there, and I noticed it, but I had to look. So, you know, maybe we could look at it in the future, getting a different color. That's gonna, you know, it's nothing that's staying there permanently, but to catch their attention. And you know, when someone does, when you have C3 or C1, they've got such a list of 
businesses can go there. Right. It is concerning about we're going to let you do it, but they might pick the one that doesn't fit the area. <coughs> and I know it's hard for them to commit, but I think somehow, in, in some way, they must know what they're trying to get there. I mean, that, that well, happens. they described at the meeting, they were asked, the commission members asked that question, and they said something like a dollar general or a family dollar, but they didn't think the parking would accommodate yeah. You know, the size of those stores, so something similar, like, you know, a little grocery slash, you know. Because um, there's some situations when you come up here mm. with approval, they have an idea what they're going to do. Is that not so? This is why they want to change it. And I understand being in a, in a residential area, but I think the sign should need to be looked at because it is a big deal that people don't notice what's going on in day-to-day -day schedule and the sign's not large enough. And that's at another time we can talk about that. But I think we need to change that to be more aware of uh, something's happening. What? Okay, Ms. Bro, let me, let me okay. just say okay. We did send, we sent letters to the adjacent property owners. Yes. And we didn't get any response from them. No one appeared, no. And no one called in the city hall. The, the only one they sent to is, is border near Border. Well, right. I usually go beyond just the borders. No, you know, no, was that's the only one that all along the block and people. then around the back Do and Dr. along Wheat Street. On the other side, you see. We posted the notice three times in the newspaper. We post the agenda on the city's website, and I know we can't touch everyone that way, but that's by state law even going above, over and above what state law yeah. requires. A notification. Uh, what was the vote of the commission? Unanimous. Okay. So. Uh, unanimous a lot of things. But um, <laughs> that's why we have them there to do with it. Yeah, Who's closest? Without the signage and everything yeah. like yeah. you said. Who's killed? Do you want the commercials <laughs> going to your, yeah. move into your area? You know? No, I don't want nothing to make no. <laughs> nothing. Okay, are y'all ready? I'm going to ask you right, to so vote your well, machine. What, so what's your wish? Is, so is, is, is it your district? Well, we got to go back to withdrawal. I'll go with him because that's yeah. his district. No, y'all still have a, have a motion on the floor. I make a you make the motion. motion. Never you have to override. You've got to override. You need five of the council to Wait. override. Okay. Wait a minute. So he's making a substitute motion now. So to, over, to, to override the recommendation. Okay, the so we have a motion by Mr. Um, substitute motion by Mr. Swear to override their decision. We have a second. You have a second. I I second. second. A second by Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to ask you to. Uh huh. Yeah, discussion. Some more discussion. Okay. Uh, I always say it. I would not do what people or the representative in that district didn't <coughs> desire to do. That's been my commitment since I first got here. And it will be my commitment as I leave here. I will not do what that representative feels is it's, it's, it's <coughs> going to be harmful and not fair in his district. I was under the impression you were going to put some uh, apartment there. That's what I was in that's why. And you know, uh, okay. Mr. Shadu is correct, but a, a, a representative who represents that district feel, you know, they yeah. want, don't want something there. We should support him. I made a mistake. One mistake. I made the ultimate way. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you please vote your machine since there's been so much discussion. Your, the, your vote right now is a substitute motion, which is to, which is denying the recommendation. You vote yes to override. No. 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 You're voting yes to overrule recommendation. their recommendation. So if you vote yes, it means you're overriding their recommendation. You don't want to approve their recommendation. Okay. Okay, everybody yeah. vote? No, I didn't vote. I know in my vote you must have pushed the button over. Yeah, you gotta push the button. You voting? Is everyone voting? I don't see no lights on. No, I voted yes. Mr. Vodal said he voted yes. Sure? Yes, ma'am. Push the other button. Please. 
We'll just clear it. It makes a difference. Yes, Please it vote again. Well, no, that's we definitely okay. we're, okay. we're, we're, saying, we're voting oh. against what the recommendation yeah. of the. So you're denied. voting against the recommendation. So you, got, got, you need volume. And I prefer to get more information. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> if we vote, yes. Wait. Yeah. If we override them, it can still go <laughs> back. Can go Mr. Back. Broussard can go do an investigation, which yeah. I'm sure he's adequately prepared to do. And we can take this think. up later. I think that's the best thing. Mr. Swear is still holding the seat. I, I do believe in respecting what that district representative wants. And like I said, I believe Mr. Broussard is going to go handle, handle that as soon as possible. So let's do it. Okay, please vote your machines. Okay, motion carries. Ms. Roban, yes. Mr. Rack, yes. Mr. Swear, yes. Mr. Dahl, yes. Mr. Lewis, yes. Mr. Bag, no. No. So it does. It does carry. Um, you had. You needed five votes to override. Plan and zone. So. Just one clarification. I, bro, please if I, if I, may, I was just thinking we could send it back to the board and maybe yeah. hold more of the area. Mm -hmm. the yeah, because they'll have to pay know. another fee. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Okay. The next agenda item is agenda item 4C, a recommendation, Madam Clerk. A recommendation not to amend the City of New Iberia Code of Ordinances, Appendix A, Article 6, Section 6-2. So moved. A motion by Ms. Roban. Second. Second by Mr. Begno. And this was not to change the ordinance that pertains to the sign. What the was their problem this time? Their problem was the fear of someone um, contesting mm -hmm. the ordinance and the city losing under the First Amendment laws. That it was brought to their attention uh, relative to a number of case studies and judgments and uh, research that they did, so they chose to prefer, they chose not to leave the ordinance as it is. Why did they do their research? And then I mean, not over there, they've been having that ordinance for years, and that man told me they hadn't had one problem. Well, what, that's what makes it unconstitutional is when you put an enforcement provision into it. That's why we specifically left the enforcement provision out. You can't take someone's property in order to restrict their right to free mm -hmm. speech. And political speech is a very protected form of free speech. But yet we can so that's why we left the enforcement provision out of it, mm -hmm. so that it would pass And the commission felt that with why adopt an ordinance if you can't enforce it? Oh. Well, well Lafayette that. did, and it right well, yeah. made the suggestion <laughs> to their community, and they just kind of followed it at that point. Yeah. So it was a recommendation more than it was an enforceable provision. You know, I, I could tell from, from the beginning when he was studying and studying, it, it wasn't going to go through. You know, I've been there here long enough to get the feeling in that. In the, in the academy. And it's good because all of my signs that did for 2020, I'm going to start putting them up in January. There's no audience against it. The next four years, you're going to be able to see my signs around town. So we'll <laughs> get an early start. Yeah, I'm going to get an early start. So. Okay. Um, I can't wait to see. I knew this. <laughs> 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 2020. Okay. Okay. I got a question. Mr. Doyle. He, he was talking about the, this sign artist that y'all looked at. Since it's a, a political sign that makes it different than the artists that we have now in the books, that's the only difference of the two? Yes. It's not because of the property? No. Well, because, you know, I mean, in all, all the case studies that were brought to our attention, that, um, you know, you're talking about regulating someone's private property. And the first, under the First Amendment, they have, you have the right to express, you know, your, your um, View, preference uh -huh. to wh who whatever, whoever you want to vote for. But if someone, if you have your house for sale, and you put a, a sign on your, on your property that's uh, for sale, or you decide to post another sign on your property that says, I don't know, something else, that's not re regulated, but your political signs are regulated, then there falls into that, that, you know, that area, that gray area of policing political 
signs and not policing commercial signs, other types so of signs. So if I could put a sign that's a difference. on the my property, is difference it's political speech and political speech. That's yeah. the only difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can put political other signs on my property right. and keep them there. You can regulate if, if you choose to regulate and introduce an ordinance to, you know, to police signs on political signs on public property, that's fine. You know, but when you're talking about policing people's private yards mm -hmm. and telling them, making them responsible to pick up the signs or have the politician pick up the signs, it's your private property. You know, so they just felt like it was overextending. So any political sign can stay in your yard year round if you want. Well, that's what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. But you can't, I can't put a sign for my business in my yard. Mm -hmm. yes, no, because that falls under but the But that's my yard ordinance. and my business. Yeah. I can't do it. That falls under the zoning ordinance, yeah. not business. under your First Amendment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Bagno. Mr. Bagno. That was going to be my clarification, because you also have subdivision ordinances. Yes. And subdivision, their restrictions were restricted from putting any signs in your yard. Right. Even political signs. And I don't know if that's constitutional, but I'm assuming it is because because it's a subdivision. That's true. Okay. That's not our problem. That's yeah. not everybody. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. Yeah. Right. That so so there are there are some times when you can regulate right. property. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You All right, want to so. vote your machines, please? <laughs> uh, motion carries. Ms. Robain, yes. Ms. Direct, yes. Mr. Swear, no. <clears throat> Mr. Doyle, yes. Mr. Uh, Lewis, yes, and Mr. Bagno, yes. The next agenda item is a recommend, oh, wait, budget, budget amendment, excuse me. And um, we have Ms. Fayetta Dupuy here this evening in case you have any questions. If you want to read the amendment, please. Um. It's budget amendment number <coughs> one for 2016-17. An ordinance amending the ordinances, ordin ordinances Levying certain taxes, appropriating the funds necessary to defray the expenses and liabilities of the City of New Iberia for the year 2016-2017. This is carryover funding for the fire department, which was the punk Bunker Deer, Church Alley Park and Bicycle Trail Grant, purchase of a bucket truck, sweeper, and roof repairs. Uh, carryover funding from a community foundation grant to repair infrastructure <coughs> and do we need after flooding. Motion. Motion. Motion by Mr. Lewis, a second by Mr. Bagno. Is there any discussion? The the money about the grant. <coughs> um, where is that? We're talking about the money for the grant. The bicycle trail. The bicycle trail. Yeah. How much is that? It's eighty nine thousand three sixty seven. The first time. But none of this money is coming from that. It's just carry over. It's just carry over. Oh, okay. What wasn't spent or received. Um, fiscal year 2016. So the dollars that we talked about for the um, West for the security cameras are coming from the excess of oh. buying those pieces of equipment that we had left over money. Is that correct? Right. <coughs> oh, you didn't get to that? Oh, I'm sorry. This is this is just. This I guess I should put my glasses on. This is just to carry over <laughs> money sorry. from the projects that we had. Um, in 2016-17. I'm sorry. How much money we have from the fire department? He had gotten it. We're not. They haven't yeah, spent we it yet. Yeah. We're just carrying it forward. Y'all had already approved all this yeah. in the budget. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just it. a formality that we have to carry it forward to because the next year. Because they ordered it and they're not in. Okay, does anybody else have questions? Oh, I'm going to get, please vote your machine since it's a uh, financial <laughs> issue. Motion, motion carried unanimously. Thank Early. you, Fayetta. Okay, the next agenda item is agenda item six, six for discussion. And um, it's concerning security, indoor and outdoor security camera system for the New Iberia City Park and New Iberia West End Park to include 1940B NVR cameras to be installed in the community centers as well as the perimeter of the buildings. Estimated to cost about 20,000. And you're all aware that we have had a number of break-ins at both parks and much, 
vandalism. The second thing. So we have a motion by Mr. Rack and a second by Mr. Swear. Discussion. Um, well, discussion. discussion. Oh, I'm sorry. But you know what? We do want to know whether or not y'all want to spend yeah, the money. You know, so we can do a motion. Yeah, yeah. Is there a problem with that? If someone proposes a resolution to the budget to. Okay. Um, I, I would ask. Yeah. Come back in the they probably want to know where the money's going to come yeah. from. Did y'all have money left over? If, if John and Heather could come to the podium, yeah. Yeah. they're both here. Where, where did y'all propose to take the money from? If you could let the council know, or do we have to do a budget amendment? Yes, yes we would like. We'll to have to do, do a budget, budget amendment. amendment. I'd, I'd like from to the general uh, John Robichaud. He's our assistant superintendent of Parks and Recreation. I don't know if any of you or most of you had the opportunity yeah. to meet yeah. yes. He's doing a great job. Yes. But we would like uh, to uh, do a budget amendment. Do we need a motion to make a budget amendment? Well, we, 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 need, to, we need to know if y'all want to do this, first of all. And if, if you are going to approve it, we'll have to have the budget amendment on the next council agenda. But at least if you, if you give us the permission to bid it out and do what we need yes. to do we can move forward on it yes we need it yes we, we we're going to save more money than because we've it's cost us so much for the repairs and something yes i know what you're talking about miss roban and then i'll <clears throat> i'm just have a couple questions this system is this going to be connected to the alarm or is it just going to be for recording purposes first uh, i'll let john talk to you about it but first i'd like to make a correction it's actually 26 cameras between the two mm -hmm. okay. facilities, not 19. Okay. 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 All right. And it is a closed circuit uh, camera system, mm -hmm. so it will not be connected to an alarm. Really? Okay. Really? It'll just be Monitor. basically monitoring right. review Monitor. purposes. Will they be easily to break? If they no, shoot most it, of the it break everything. Well, the, the cameras are vandal proof, so yeah, they won't be able to break. And it will be able to be monitored from remote locations. Uh, so right. if they're not there in the building, we will be able to monitor it from remote locations. Yeah. So to um, see who to see who's man. there and to call the police if we see someone good. that's not supposed to be there. Is that Mr. Mr. I'm sorry, she, Mr. Lewis. Uh, <laughs> Is our uh, IT guy Chuck? Will will he he be involved since he's the technical man uh, in in setting this up, or or, or are we going to buy? Well, well, will 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 we will he at least be able to monitor since he's our IT spec? Have have where he can he can also pull that data up. They that that basically comes through the department. Oh. That yeah, they you talk to us about with this. <clears throat> right, you're talking about uh, having the IT guy be able to monitor. Well, what, not really monitor, on. but for, for to make sure as a kind of backup. Uh, because if you don't need to zoom in or do something, unless y'all have that capability. Uh, uh, I'm sure he's a lot more, he's IT certified where if it's something technical to enhance that picture or that view or whatever, that that's the purposes I'm asking. Right. Oh. I think you're both, you're both <coughs> going to be trained, y'all will be trained on, on working with the cameras and the monitoring system. Right. The, I mean, the cameras are going to be fit. They're, they're uh, right. you know, specifically designed for uh, distance mm -hmm. to give you a clarity of picture. So it would only be in playback mode where you would zoom in. So if an event happened that you, you know, you needed to go back into the recording, then you could zoom in, take a snapshot, well, that's cool. and give it to law enforcement. Oh, right. Elsewise, the installation is going to be covered by whatever security company has chosen to do the installation. So, if you don't so we, we're going to, it'll be monitored through your department. I guess the monitors will be there. Yeah. And right. you can do it on, on your phone like anything else. Right. If, mm -hmm. if something happens, right. it can be detected. 
Uh, so are we decide who we're purchasing this from, or are we bidding this out? We have to bid it out. Bid it out. Bid it okay, out. so the alpha bid and the numbers on the cameras and all that you have on the alpha. Obviously, you've done some homework, so you know pretty much what you stuff. want. Right. Or some, somebody has helped us with that. Okay, so we're bidding it. So we're not really purchasing yet until we get No, we did back. not want to bid it unless the council was in favor okay. of it. All right. That I understand. Okay. Um, so we will bring it to you beforehand and there, make sure. I understand the need. I was just concerned right. about how we we're going to. But if the council approves us putting it out for bid, then we're going to move forward okay. with it. Okay. They have been doing quite a bit of research on this and, and like meeting with different companies. And so, did you Yeah, I did. Um, I saw you mentioned you out here at City Park. Is the senior <coughs> citizen building part of that? Having cameras? No. Because I yes. think, I mean, you got a lot of people going in and out that place. I would like mm -hmm. to see what it can cost much more to put the senior citizen building. You got women going in at night doing exercise, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now it's part of City Park, but it's still, right. you know, right. I would like to have that right. part of it. If we could. I, I tell you what, I know it's not on the agenda for that because it's, it's disgusting and aggravating. If they yeah. can video who's breaking all those lights on Hopkins, that's outrageous. That's impossible to think that someone would just keep breaking the lights way up in the air. What's wrong? A lady seen one standing on top of each other. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do you think you can do that? Add the senior that citizens. Yeah, yeah, we can we can add the senior citizens right. right. We'll yeah, we'll go ahead okay. and ask, you know. For them to take a look at the senior building. Yeah, I'm going to tell you all about that. But Mr. DeQueer, we don't have to vote on this then if they're just verbally giving us approval to move forward with it. And that's what we wanted. Okay. Okay. But the next. We don't have. Yeah, we're not on TV tonight. It's a shame. But I mean, the whole purpose of this was the destruction that was done in both parks just recently, right? Yeah, right. Someone called me today and asked me about it, and I said, well, you don't understand what's been happening. There's been some destroying going on, and I think that's you know the community needs to know that right. that there's this Maybe they need to right. back and that's why and well, we will so. discuss it again because we have to do it. You have to approve a budget amendment, okay. and, and we'll have to bring we'll bring the quotes, we'll bring everything up, and, and okay. hopefully at the next meeting. So the, the community okay. could know. Okay. I mean, okay. I, I wouldn't. I mean, I mean I don't know who wouldn't understand uh, when 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 been, when you put. Cameras on your own property. Yeah. Really yeah, broke. City Park, I think they, 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 they broke was that so home widespread. Twice. How do you how do you monitor yeah, all that? I, I had, had to go with cameras. Well, we've had so much damage to the buildings lately. Well, it's been. It I mean, we've had. It is out of control. Right. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. So we'll move on with that. And the next agenda item is the senior citizen building. We went to, to do a walkthrough a few days ago, well, <coughs> last week, week before. That building is in deplorable condition. And we're getting ready to change the roof. But we had um, someone look at it. We've had contractors and different people. And Jimmy can come up too because he's been involved with this one. Um, before we put the roof, the new roof on, there needs to be, and Jimmy can probably explain it better than I can, they need to put a, a, an there's, awning. There's a lot of water issues. The, the back roof falls right at the back wall mm -hmm. and the water splashes. The back wall is all right. rotten. There's a leak on the door where you enter the park, on that side door where the parking lot is. There's a, a, a patch on the roof, but it wasn't done properly. So it's leaking in there and that part of the wall is all rotten. There's about three air conditioning units with 15 tons, three five ton units, which is way more than that building should need. So. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. The way the units are facing and the location of the units, to me, is an issue. They're blowing the short way of the building instead of long. Mm -hmm. so. Well, we've had somebody take a look at it. I'm just This is another thing. I'm just trying to see if we have your approval to move forward. But <coughs> let me just finish. Um, the additional work to do on the roof, we need to do a cover on the back and have an overhang in the front before we even replace the roof. You stand the cover and over the like the slab the when you in the walk back, out the back of the yeah. Yeah. the back double doors the and then in the front the also the the, we need an overhang because that's why everything's rotting. Mm -hmm. So that I had somebody look at it and they're getting ready to come up with a plan, but I called him today to just get an estimate. Um, it's about fifteen thousand to do the additional work to the roof. He said about three thousand to repair the kitchen. The kitchen's in deplorable condition. About five thousand to move the air conditioned units to another room and do what needs to be done there. 
and about 5,000 to repair the back wall. So it's about, we're estimating about 28,000. But and we that's might not get, even the inside we, the floor. We and might the get we might get into more um, once we start working on it. But we did have an additional fifty thousand left from the bidding of the roofs when we bid the roofs out. Mm -hmm. It was fifty thousand less. I don't know how y'all feel, but this is a, a little historic building, yeah, yeah. and we, we don't want to let it go. And they use it; they people use it all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. I think we need to make it very nice. So, I think we're going to get a lot of rental income from it. I, like right. I said, I've rented it twice myself, even in the condition it is, because it's just so quaint, quaint. and it's right. it's cute for a birthday party, <coughs> for a shower. It has the kitchen. I mean, I say we. We, we make it as okay, nice as we can. Okay, just move the discussion. Okay, is, everybody, is there anybody that's not in favor of us okay. moving forward? Is there anybody not in favor? Okay, well, we're going to move forward with that also. Thank you very much. The next uh, agenda item announcements, the next council meeting will be Tuesday, December 6th, and the Spanish Festival, the weekend of Saturday, November the 19th. And happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.